So I want to show you this mask in more detail. It's both an animatronic and mechanical mask. The eyes are the animatronic parts, which are controlled by servo motors. The base of the mask is 3D printed, which is designed by me entirely. And then the nose is also movable. This is controlled by the jaw movement. Every time the jaw opens, the nose tilts up a little bit for that snarl. And the jaw itself is controlled by my mouth. The jaw is also connected to the ears, which moves them back a little bit. This is the inside of the mask. As you can see, the eyes are right in front of you. And then you can see through the tear ducts, basically. The little servos push the eyelids closed. There's two switches in the back. One is for the eyelids and one is for the light in the eyes. I usually have it off because it's very bright. There's a little battery in here. It's just a simple USB power bank. This is how it looks like with the eyelids on. This is the connection to the nose. The gray part is connected to the nose. And then the elastics make sure that it gets pushed up and pushed down when I open my own mouth. Then the back of the jaw is a connection to the ears, so it's basically extended to be able to move the ears. The elastic bands make sure that the jaw moves back into place closed when I have my mouth closed. And this is basically the vision as you see it inside the mask. So about the eyes, the eyes are made with half glass eyes, so they're half round and because of this the reflection of the sticker that I glued behind it kind of looks like it's looking at you. For eyelids it's 3D printed with a latex skin over it so it gives that realistic wrinkle. And the eye effect will follow you around like this because of the reflection of the half glass eye.